So run up checklist. Parking brake is set. So you can once you get to the uh, holding point or wherever you to your, to your destination, your run ups, you have to press your pedals. So you put your feet on the pedals, both feet, and pull out the lever. Then you gotta check so you'll have the full instrument engine page. So you can you select here, which is your engine instrument page. You have full instruments. You first of all, just make sure you got no irregular indications on your on your engine instruments. For all the ones, you will have some uh, engine instruments. Steam gauges on your right, yeah. So then you run up the engine to 1650. So you want to increase your manifold. So you increase your your throttle at 1650. So you'll see the indication. And then first thing you do is your propeller governors. So you want to make sure that basically the, the um, constant speed unit in your propeller is is working is functioning properly and the, the pitch angle is changing. So basically, what you do is first of all you put your thumb here as a safety, so you, you don't want to move into the feather range, so you're going to have problems. So basically, reasonably quickly, you would decrease your your um, propeller. Look for an indication. So it'll go from 1650. Max indication would be approximately 400 RPM. Uh, wouldn't let it go any lower than that. So once you do see that, you quickly return your your um, propeller forward again. So you repeat it for both engines uh, three times. Then the next thing you do is you would select your or you check your engine ignitions. So like any other thing, you want to make sure you check your magneto. So start from right to left. Watching here, keeping your hands on the throttles at all times as well when you're when you're doing run up. So you would keep your hand here. And your ignition so looking for slight drops on each of them so approximately 50 rpm so boom boom and so you go left ignition on and off sorry right engine right ignition on and off right engine left ignition on and off and you go left engine right ignition on and off left engine left ignition on and off okay next then is you uh, check your carpet so you would uh, Open your carpet, so that's moving it fully, fully backwards. You should see a slight drop in RPM as well. Then you bring your throttles to idle. So you want to make sure that you've got a decent idle, so approximately 800 RPM to 900 RPM. As you advance your um, carpet. carpet, you'll see a slight increase in RPM. And then uh, you then next step then is to return your throttle back to 1000 RPM. And then run up checklist complete. No indication, so you're basically watching for any listening and watching for any irregularities in the engine, any um, strange air engine indications, bangs, noise, or smells. Uh, so the run up checklist complete. Then you go for takeoff checklists. So you uncross feed. So remember earlier you cross feed, so you want to swap, swap them back. It's both engines. And then fuel pressure, you want to check once you've done that. Obviously, there's no, no change in your fuel pressure. You want to check your compass versus your direction indicator. So, uh, in this case, it is zero one one, and you want to make sure that it's within a ten degree tolerance. So it could be zero zero one or zero two one with max maximum deviations. Um, flaps. You want to select your flaps. So you want to obviously you would go flaps up or flaps takeoff. So standard will be flaps takeoff. Flap indication that it's set. Uh, pitch and rudder trim. So again, you got electric trim. So pitch up, pitch down, like on a lot of aircraft. You got a safety thing. So you, it's a dual activation to stop you from accidentally hitting it or accidentally triggering it. So that's your elevator trim. And down below here, you got rudder trim. So. Rotor trim right, rotor trim left, and you want to see a centralized. And in the NXI system, you can see it'll give you a, tri a trim indication on the screen. And just for, for reference, you got a backup uh, <coughs> pitch trim here. Uh, I tested that one as well. When I tested that one, I tested also the manual one. Cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so then, last last thing really is your alerts. So you want to, make, again, make sure before you take off that you, you've acknowledged all alerts and there's no issues with the aircraft. And then you complete a standard takeoff briefing. Okay, so we can do that. Uh, stand by.